Giraffe versus Zebra Who would win in a fight? The African wilderness is home to many animals that are renowned for their fighting spirit in the never-ending struggle for survival. Tooth, nail, tusk, and hoof are the usual instruments in this regard, with life and death often hinging on how successfully they are wielded. Today, we explore the idea of a potential fight between two unlikely contenders, the giraffe and the zebra. While the documentaries will have you thinking these herbivores are frightful targets for the continent's predators, we're here to show you what happens when these two decide to stand and fight rather than run. Who would come out on top in a hypothetical bout? To answer this, we will first look at the various aspects of both zebras and giraffes and speculate on how these could tip the scales. So sit back, relax, and let's take a look at the giraffe versus the zebra. The giraffe is a large ruminant that resides in savanna woodlands in sub-Saharan Africa. The term ruminant refers to even-toed herbivorous mammals that chew food, also known as cud, that is regurgitated from the rumen, the first of four stomachs. Ruminantia, which is also home to deer, sheep, and cattle families, is a suborder of the Artiodactyla order. Giraffes are part of the Giraffidae family, which is home to another interesting animal, the okapi. Today, there are eight subspecies of giraffe. They mainly differ in DNA structure, markings, and some minor skeletal features. All subspecies have maximum lifespans of about 25 years in the wild, but they have been documented living up to 27 to 28 in captivity. The giraffe is actually the largest ruminant on the planet and also boasts the lofty title of the tallest land animal. Male giraffes can reach an incredible 18 feet in height, while females can reach 16 feet. The boys are also heavier, with maximum weights exceeding 4,000 pounds, compared to the 2,600 pound max for females. Their necks and legs are the main contributors to their awesome height, among other fascinating behavioral traits. Giraffes are primarily browsers, feeding on hard-to-reach leaves, buds, flowers, fruits, and even vines. They will also nibble on grass from time to time. They use their prehensile tongues to grasp food and manipulate their way through thorns and other obstacles. Acacia leaves are a staple part of their diet, and their dexterous tongues weave through the thorny shoots as they consume up to 70 pounds of the stuff daily. To meet these incredible dietary needs, giraffes spend most of their days eating. Giraffes are partially migratory animals subject to a few factors. Availability of food is the primary factor that determines whether most giraffes will migrate. Subordinate males may migrate to search for females elsewhere. Like most diurnal animals, giraffes sleep at night and they have fairly poor eyesight in the dark. What's even more interesting is that they can sleep while standing up, mainly as a defense strategy against the marauding predators of the African savanna. Giraffes are fairly social creatures and tend to coexist peacefully with other herbivores like elephants. Females live in small herds of related individuals, while males can either be solitary or part of a gang of usually unrelated individuals. Males become aggressive during mating season, and they engage in duels to establish dominance and rights over females. These battles involve two males standing side by side and hurling their necks and horned heads at each other. Whoever relents first loses. After mating and conception, females carry the developing calf for 13 to 15 months. Given the hungry carnivores on the prowl, baby giraffes learn to walk and run within hours of being born. They are wholly dependent on their mother, who is the sole parent in the picture. Other herd members also help with warning and protection against predators. The zebra is a wild member of the Equus genus under the Equidae family, which is made up of horses, donkeys, and other extinct genera. There are three main species of zebra, of which the plain zebra is the most widespread. The other species are the Grevy zebra and mountain zebra. Size ranges quite drastically, with adult males in the 700 to 900 pound range and females somewhere between 400 and 570 pounds. The Grevy zebra is the largest of all three species. All species have characteristic black and white markings. 
And yes, zebras are, in fact, black with white stripes. They are native to East and Southern Africa, preferring open grasslands, shrublands and woodlands. The mountain zebra also resides in mountainous areas. Like giraffes, zebras are herbivores, but their dietary preferences are almost opposite because they primarily eat grass. They will also eat leaves, figs and roots occasionally when times are lean. Zebras are also more migratory than giraffes because their food source, grass, is not always as readily available as acacia. They chase the rain, so to speak, going to wetter areas for better grazing. Zebras have been documented migrating over 300 miles in a matter of months. Zebras are highly social, displaying complex dynamics amongst themselves and coexisting with fellow herbivores. They have a particularly interesting codependence with wildebeest, often relying on each other for migration patterns and predator warnings. That said, zebra politics differ from species to species. Plains and mountain zebras live in migratory harem herds, with a dominant stallion overseeing several mares and the foals he sires with them. Harems are often fixed, with females existing within a hierarchy of how long they've been in the herd. Grevy zebras have a territorial system, where males establish territories and mate with mares that come into them. Females may come and go as they please, but they tend to stay in a dominant stallion's territory because they tend to have access to the best grazing and abundant water sources. Subordinate or ousted males of all three species of the short end of the stick, with restricted access to resources and females. These excess males may live in coalitions or establish poorer territories with limited mating opportunities. The only way to improve their lot in life is to challenge a dominant stallion to a fight. Zebra fights are usually violent affairs with brutal kicking and biting until the loser gives up and runs away. The winner gets to keep the disputed territory or harem. Once mating occurs, mares face a 12-month gestation period. A female will give birth to a single foal. Born on the menu, a zebra foal also has to learn how to run soon after coming into the world, as well as become familiar with its mother's scent and striping. Plains and mountain zebra foals are usually protected by the herd and their siring stallion, who will charge predators while the harem shields the young. Grevy zebra foals are more vulnerable because there might not be a herd to protect them. Weaponry and Strategy Though largely peaceful, giraffes will fight fiercely if escape is not an option. When fighting other giraffes, they use their long necks as whips to try to land blow with their horns. These horns, known as ossicones, are protruding bone structures from their skulls. When fighting other animals, giraffes employ their long legs and hooves to stomp and kick would-be attackers. They typically stomp with their front legs and kick with their hind legs. Their kicks are so brutal that a properly connected strike could kill a lion. Additionally, a giraffe's extraordinary legs give it an immense stride when running, allowing it to reach speeds of 35 miles per hour. During the day, giraffes have excellent 360-degree vision in color. Their height also helps spot trouble from very far away. Unfortunately, their night vision is not great. Zebras are about as gentle as giraffes in general, but territorial stallions are always on a short fuse. Armed with tough incisors with thick enamel, they can bite sizable chunks out of rivals and predators. Their hooves are also dangerous. Front and back kicks can do serious damage and even prove fatal for predators like wild dogs and cheetahs. Given the pace of some of the savannah's top predators, zebras have a dire need for speed. They can reach speeds of 35 miles per hour and have incredible agility that helps them make quick turns. Zebras also boast good night vision, which is crucial against nocturnal hunters. Who would win in a fight? While an all-out fight between a zebra and a giraffe is unlikely, such large herbivores may bump heads from time to time, especially over scarce water sources. Given their respective arsenals, one would have to bet on the larger animal. Giraffes are generally more than twice the size of zebras. Their stomps and kicks have a significant reach advantage. A zebra could land some hard bites to the leg. It simply cannot reach the giraffe's head to deliver a knockout blow. 
Additionally, a zebra would likely relent first to avoid unnecessary injuries, which are a death sentence in areas crawling with lions and hyenas. Of course, a zebra would have an agility advantage, but that simply wouldn't be enough. 